Hey guys, welcome back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel for the shop update. We are moving forward at warp speed. Uh, we got uh, Chad Nichols working on his bike, Gypsy, over here. Insert a little clip here. Are you having fun yet? Yeah, I got it. I got a little, <laughs> little, little system going little now. System going now, man. Oh, you're unscrewing them to let them up. I let them up a little bit just where they don't. Because every time I release they it, shoot it, it up. They shoot out. So I let it out. My just compressor a bit. doesn't have the lever. <laughs> Mine's just the screw. Yeah, I just screw it out just a little bit, and then it goes up where I need it to. Yeah, he's uh, putting valve springs in. So he's got the valve springs in, heads cleaned up. We went ahead and deleted the pair permanently. So he doesn't have to run block offs or anything. This was a bone stock motor. I say was. I technically don't call this stock. It's had the head off. It's got springs. It's going to get sprayed. So it was sprayed before. We had a little 30 shot on it to get him to 560. It was great. It's a wheelie machine. Now we're going to put a 60 shot on there and progress it so we can kind of get the wheelies down and push it out the back. So Gypsy should be back together as soon as the head gasket comes in. The white turbo. I got a coupler. It don't work. After Christmas, I'll have to get with an exhaust shop and have that flared to fit. Not a huge deal, but I do need to touch up some of the tune. Hold on a second. You are really dirty. Crispy. All right. So I just got the drivability portion of the tune to touch a little bit. I found some odd spots while I was on the road. Uh, that'll be just easier to touch on the dyno. Spark plugs will be here Tuesday for this, so I can go ahead and adjust the valves this weekend. Put spark plugs in it and uh, be ready to rock and roll. I need to change the main jets as well. This one's ready for the dyno with 32-bit done. The day that Longshore opens, I'll get the tires mounted for this. And then I can get with Chris Charles and schedule a day for him to come pick it up. That one's ready to go. Just needs dyno tuned. This one I haven't gotten a chance to look at. And this one has an estimate. I just got to email him and get a deposit and we'll get that thing rocking. That won't take too terribly long. Cross our fingers that the luck holds out. Warren's is set up over here with a workstation. So Motorhead can come over and finish that up as Gypsy's here. Drew Richardson's bike. Is back together and running and purrs like a damn kitten. The whole thing apart or tried to slide the fork down. We'll just slide the forks out. So it'll, be, it'll look like where I seen you went out the other day over here. Just had a tire on it like that. <laughs> I bet it's blowing lots of air. There's no charge pipe. There was nothing wrong with the bottom end of this motor, nothing wrong with the max install, nothing wrong with anything. So the root cause, the end result, was a bad head. Drew provided the head himself. He paid someone to put new guides in it, seals, and springs. Looks like they just took a shot head and put springs in it. I have not physically found what is wrong with this head. So this is the head off that bike. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. As you can see, we well, you can't see. Hold on. We are dry and sooty because it wasn't tuned. It was rich. Dry and sooty. Oily as shit. Somehow, this head, I haven't checked the guides yet to see if they're cracked or what's going on. I'm going to check it all because now I got to keep, I'm going to keep this head for myself. But I'm going to keep the springs out of this head, put them in this head, and that'll be my new head. Uh, so what I did is I went ahead and I just pulled the fresh head off Dragonfly's motor. This motor didn't have very many passes since the last time it was freshened up. It's got new valve springs, new seals, all that in it. So he just got my head put on his motor. So that is a stock valve head with 70 pound carpenter springs, uh, stainless steel Vance Nines exhaust valves, brand new Viton valve seals. Ta-da. He got my head. It works good. Uh, I did that to save time because I did not have a set of valve seals on hand. Otherwise, I would have built him his other head. Uh, but it was just easier, and it's equal value. Actually, he got a better deal because he got my Vance and Heinz exhaust valves in exchange for his stock valves. But I'll just get valve seals put in this. 
Well, I'll get it tanked, get valve seals put in it, and then I'll just reassemble this head for my motor, and I'll probably just bag it for now. Uh, I'm also going to take his block off plates he had on this motor and put them on here because he got mine. And I'm keeping my tensioner that I put on his motor because he got mine. Uh, but yeah, it's running good. I just got to clean up, tidy up, button everything up. Right now it's hanging in there with the bare necessities to make it go vroom vroom. Uh, <laughs> I did not want to hook a whole bunch of crap up and then have it still make the noise. So now that I know it runs... Uh, I went ahead and changed the valve springs. I'm going to start on this side and just work my way around from here around that side and end with the radiator. And we'll get this thing put together and on the dyno this coming week. Before the new year, I want to have this on the dyno, that on the dyno, this on the dyno, that on the dyno, that on the dyno. Uh, more parts updates coming on the Hyperboost Killer. Uh, I gotta wait until we get the tracking, but I know a few things are done and gonna be on their way back. I did uh, break down and look at his pretty, pretty plenum in here. This shop's a, still a, kind of a disaster, but he has a really pretty RCC custom plenum, anodized. Oh, it's nice. But uh, for now, guys, I'm gonna load up and head over to Motorheads for a Christmas Eve dinner. And then tomorrow I will not be at the shop because I'm gonna be going to Mr. Randy Canes for Christmas Day. I uh, want to go hang out with his grandchildren. They're cool as shit. I want to go hang out with Randy. I haven't hung out with him for a while. And uh, just bullshit for a day. And then I got to be back up here. So I got to leave there by 3 at the latest. Because I have to be back up here to be at the gas station for work tomorrow night. From 5 till 10. Uh, oh, Totoro's Motor. We Long time ago, you guys heard about that. His cam came in, finally, so we can start on that. So as soon as this one's out of here, and I talked to him last night and told him this one was in front of him, I will jump on starting to assemble his engine, and we will go ahead and get that back in the bike, and he's got a few little things for the bike to be done, new chain, etc., etc. And that thing can go home, because it's been taking up a storage unit since July 11th. It was like October when I tore the engine apart, but July is when it came in because he blew it up. Uh, he had a pinhole in the oil cooler, and he went on a highway blast for like 15 miles on the rev limiter in sixth gear, and, you know, with a, no oil in it, it spun a rod bearing. So, that's what I got. Later, guys.